you mention the name Afra Haza in Israel, most everyone can sing one of her big hits. But that's not enough for the Middle Eastern superstar. This modest, young Israeli singer wants to be known throughout the world. Beneath that demure exterior speaks the heart of an ambitious and determined woman. Will she make it? Let's meet her. <coughs> This story is as old as the desert and as young as the woman who revived it. Arthur Haza is Israel's singing sensation, and she has reached stardom through the music of her ancestors from the desert land of Yemen. My mother said that when I was in the when I was one year, I sang all the time and I cried a lot in the house. And she and when my sisters want to take me. And she, to relax me, she said, no, no, let her to cry because it's good for the voice. Offer's training as a singer began almost in a cradle. Yemen is the poorest Arab country in the world. It was here that Offer Haza's parents once lived, a Jewish family in a predominantly Arab village. In 1927, the Hazas left the poverty and the wretchedness of their birthplace to emigrate to their spiritual homeland, Israel. In Tel Aviv, they lived in a ghetto. Even though they were poor, Afra's mother taught her nine children the music of their rich Yemenite heritage. Afra, the baby of the family, remembers being raised with the simple yet nurturing values of her parents. My parents gave us a lot of uh, warm and love. And uh, to go to school, it was the important thing to my mother, to my parents. We didn't have money to go to movies or to buy new uh, clothes, mm -hmm. but uh, we felt very good in the family. Afra Haza is the most popular singer Israel has ever produced. Her rags to riches story came about because of her ambition. Afra got her big break at 14 when she won a song contest on television, competing against professional singers. The story of what Afra wore that day tells of her determination to be a star. I didn't have shoes to go to the television, and I took uh, the shoes of my mother. And I was so tall, <laughs> just 14 years old. Despite her glamorous looks, Afra maintains old-fashioned values, is devoutly religious, and spends every Sabbath with her parents. And underneath the fame and fortune of her stardom, is a simple love of singing. For me, it's still fun. Yes, all the time. It's right that it's, it's uh, hard work, but it's still fun. And when it will stop to me, I don't think that I uh, go on. Because I like to sing. It's something inside in my heart. It's not business. It's not work to live or something like this. And I love it. Arthur's dream of becoming well-known in America is becoming a reality. Although the competition is fierce, she feels hard work, talent, and the hand of God have guided her career. She hopes it's just beginning, yet sometimes she wonders what would happen if the music stopped. All the time I pray to God, please don't stop it and keep it. And I think it will be very sad for me because it's all my life. I don't know if I think all the time I will sing, maybe at home, just for my husband and my children. <laughs> 